can speak for yourself. Mm. The most fun you can have talking sports. Give me some of that. Whitlock and Wiley. Rick Buecher is back with us. Slick Rick the Buecher. Got a fresh can. Yeah, I do. <laughs> Time to get antisocial. Slick Rick the Buecher. Baker Mayfield, a real one on Darnell's chest. Uh, Boy, all right. A little early there. Number 50. Yeah. I like 100. Oh, <laughs> number 50? Number 50. That's pretty what? good. Did they make the playoffs? Come on, y'all. Let's start with the NFL. <laughs> <laughs> where the NFL top 100 list has officially been released. With last year's MVP, Patrick Mahomes, landing at number four. Drew Brees taking the number two spot. And my guy, Aaron Donald, owning the number one spot as the best player in the league. Some players didn't agree with the list, though. Bengals running back Joe Mixon, who didn't make the list, tweeted out, who else thought the NFL top 100 was a popularity slash clout contest? Or am I just being biased? Guys, do you agree that this list is a popularity contest? It's not a good list, I'll say that. Huh. It probably yeah. is a popularity deal. It's like, Todd Gurley, how can he be in the top five after the way his season ended in the playoffs? Mm -hmm. Why is Drew Brees number two? Mm -hmm. that, 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 that is, you know, the only thing they got right was number one, Aaron Donald. Right. <laughs> I think that's all they voted on, for real. Right. They just did number one, everybody walked out the room. <laughs> everybody else just fill in the blanks. <laughs> Drew Brees is ahead of Patrick Mahomes. Really? I, uh, he wasn't the MVP, was he? How you beat the MVP? Like. Who? If the MVP is not, not number one, it has to be someone like an Aaron Donald who's not in a glamorous position that is a beast. So, yeah, it's always an equation. Production and popularity. Just like the Pro Bowl, a lot of things come down to that equation. Sorry, Joe Mixon, you didn't know that. I'm not even sure production's in it. I think it's just, I mean, in terms of rated, look, you got Drew. I like Drew Brees. Yeah. I'm a big fan of Drew Brees. Drew uh -huh. Brees placed ahead of Tom Brady. That tells you right away this is a popularity contest. Mm. Mm. I don't know about that yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, Brady yeah, wait should be a minute. Brady, Brady didn't should play that well last year. Players. No, no, no. Drew Brees is more popular. Among there is players? a lot of respect. Oh, yeah, yeah. There's respect but for Brady. But in production, too. Okay, but. What do you mean, but? Wait, 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 I just said production yeah. and popularity. All right, all right, categories. So, <laughs> Anthony Davis made an appearance on Jimmy Kimmel Live, and Jimmy asked AD if he was disappointed that Kawhi Leonard decided to join the Clippers instead. Take damn right, damn right, <laughs> damn right. I'm never disappointed for another man. I mean, mm -hmm. you're, you're, you're a grown man. Mm -hmm. Us having him would, de would definitely, you know... It would have been, been good, yeah, for yeah, the team, was, right? Yeah. You, you could have marked it up as champions right there, but... Yeah. Um, the, the Staples Center is going to be a lot of fun this year. You know, it is going to be a lot teams. of fun. Um, yeah. Obviously, you know, we brought a lot of excitement back to, to the Lakers organization where, where we're supposed to be, uh, what all the fans are used to, so that's going to be fun. And every night going into the Staples, you know, especially against the Clippers, is going to be a battle. Do you guys think AD is telling the truth here? Uh, yeah, I do, actually. Yeah, I, I, I really do. Hey, he's he, happy? Ha yeah, he is. Yeah, yeah you no, say no, it with no, your no. heart. Say it with your chest. <laughs> he, yeah, yeah, I, yeah, he is. <laughs> you know, damn what, well, that boy's still crying. Eyebrows curled up, mad. <laughs> like, damn, we could have mailed... He, he even said it. We could have mailed in the championship oh, no, 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 with no. that squad. No, 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 no. He's hurt. Did you see it? When he said... It would have, it would have been good. It would have been ah, good. Ah, yes. It would have been good because I would have been Kevin Love or Chris Bosh. I would have been standing <laughs> there. So yeah, yeah, I'm really happy yeah. for him. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good point. Yeah, Kawhi. Now. All right, let's move to the time now for Darnell's question of the day. Take it away. Mm. It's Darnell. That's my guy. My guy. My question. Question. Question of the day. All right, guys, so I came across this story online of a woman who just celebrated her 107th birthday. Woo! Obviously, we know to make her past 100 is a huge blessing. And Hell, yeah. When she was asked what her secret was, she said, uh, never getting married. So I want to ask you guys, do you what? think there's any truth to this? No. Go ahead, Whitlock. <laughs> no. Oh, OK, no. really? Hell, hell no. <laughs> you know how much more responsible I would be oh, if yeah. I was married? Yeah. You understand, someone to hold you accountable, mm -hmm. that is the key to a long life and and probably even a happier life, to be honest with you. Oh, just keep, keep going, it real. We might get a tear. <laughs> we might get a tear. Get a tear. No more in Vegas. <laughs> no more <laughs> Vegas. That ain't cool. <laughs> Man, there are pros and cons to everything, but I, I do find a greater value, joy, uh, fulfillment, being married, having kids, all of that, that structure. Yeah. What well, they say, it, it's a great thing for a reason. Uh, that said, her sister is 102. Right. And she's married. Right. 
she might she might catch up. You, know, you, know, you never know how this is gonna end, but you know what? She's having a happy just, life. Who's she having... dating at 107? Man, what's out there? <laughs> what's three? What what you got on fight? Match.com at 107? She got our young one, a 90 year old. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that birthday cake. You imagine them candles? Oh, <laughs> a forest <laughs> fire right there, bro. At a fire station. <laughs> no, I, I think they're proof that the family genes probably has more to do with Boom. anything else, and it Boom. also has to do with what kind of marriage is it? Marriage is the wrong kind of marriage is going to age you in a whole hot, uh, uh, yeah. in a big hurry. I would say the other thing is, what kind of shape is she in? Mm. She looks pretty good for 107 yeah. now. I, I gotta be. What does he work out? Mean? Feels, he <laughs> what does that mean? You got comparisons of other 107 year olds? <laughs> what are you talking about? Oh, she yeah, can make she this together. Sports Illustrated swimsuit edition for over 100. You're swiping right or left on this. <laughs> the only one right, on it. Coming up. <laughs> Damian Lillard <laughs> is calling for a Carmelo Anthony farewell tour. Stop. I'll tell you the unpleasant truth he just revealed about modern athletes. Mm. Next! What's her IG? You got <laughs>